Hello all, I am Shubham. Welcome to my channel Solve with Shubham. In today's class, we will see how to find out units digit or the last digit of the given number. Before that, we have gone through the classes where we have seen how to find out divisors of the given number, reverse operations on divisors, how to find out sum and the product of divisors, then how to represent a given number as product of two integers, how to find out number of numbers less than n and co-primes to n. Now, in this class, we will see the method of finding out units digit of the given number. So, to understand this concept, it is important to understand the concept of cyclicity. So, we will see what does this term mean. 2 to the power 1 ends with 2. 2 to the power 2 ends with 4. 2 to the power 3 is 8. So, unit digit is 8. 2 to the power 4 is 16. So, unit digit would be 6. Now, 2 power 5 is 32. So, unit digit is 2. 2 power 6 is 64. So, unit digit is 4. Similarly, 2 power 7 ends with 8, 2 power 8 ends with 6. So, can you see a pattern here? You can see 2, 4, 8, 6. Again, the pattern is repeating 2, 4, 8, 6. So, here after 4 iterations, the pattern is repeating. Therefore, cyclicity of 2 is 4. It means 2 power 4 n will always end with 6. Find out units digit of 2 to the power 265. As we know cyclicity of 2 is 4, we will try representing this number in terms of 2 power 4 n. So, how we can do it? This is your number. We need to represent in this format. So, divide 265 by 4. What will you get? 4, 6 are 24. Then again 4, 6 are 24 into 2 power 1. This number will end with 6. This number will end with 2. So, you get the units digit as 2. Next, find units digit of 342 to the power 4, 5, 6, 7. So, when we have to find out units digit, only the unit digit of the base and the power is important. So, this question would remain same if you have to find out units digit of 2 to the power 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, what we will do? Your uh, cyclicity of 2 is 4. So, we will try representing it in power terms of 4. So, we will divide 4, 5, 6, 7 by 4 and then we will see how we can represent it. So, this would be 1, 1, 4, 1 into 2 power 3. This will end with 6. This will end with 8. You get it as 48. So, units digit would be 8. So, answer is 8 here. Next, cyclicity of 3. 3 power 1 ends with 3, 3 power 2 ends with 9, 3 power 3 is 27, so ends with 7, 3 power 4 is 81, so ends with 1. The moment you get 1, you can stop the iteration there because you have got the cyclicity. How? It means after you get 1, the pattern has to repeat. How? 3 power 5 is nothing but 3 power 4 into 3 power 1. 3 power 4 is ending with 1. 3 power 1 is ending with 3. So, you get it as 3. So, you get it as 3, then 9, then 7, then 1. So, again, cyclicity of 3 is 4. Find units digit of 3 to the power 5, 6, 7, 3. So, what we will try? We will try to represent this number in terms of 3 to the power 4 n. Why? Because cyclicity of 3 is 4. So, 3 to the power 5, 6, 7, 3 can be written as 3 to the power 4 
वन फोर वन एट इन टू थ्री टू द पावर वन दिस वुड एंड विथ वन दिस इज एंडिंग विथ थ्री सो वी गेट द आंसर एज थ्री नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फाइंड यूनिट्स डिजिट ऑफ फोर थ्री टू फोर सेवन थ्री टू द पावर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर वेन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द यूनिट्स डिजिट only the unit digit of the base and the power are important so we need to find out the unit digit of this number so represent it in terms of 3 to the power 4x because the cyclicity of 3 is 4 so 4 3 is a 12 4 eight is a 32 4 6 is a 24 3 power 1 would be left this would end with 1 This would end with three, so our answer has to be three. Next, cyclicity of four. So four power one ends with four. Four power two is sixteen, ends with six. Four power three is sixty-four. Four power four is end ending with six. So you can see the cyclicity is two here because after two iterations itself it is. repeating cyclicity of 4 is 2 similarly you can follow the same method and find out the cyclicity of other numbers so here i have made a table you can see cyclicity of 2 is 4 2 4 8 6 3 is 4 4 is 2 5 power anything would, would always end with 5 6 power anything would always end with 6 7 cyclicity is 4 8 cyclicity is 4 9 cyclicity is 2 10 power anything would always end with 0 here guys you don't have to specifically remember cyclicity because when you see most of them is 4 now and even it is 2 9 power 2 is ending with 9 power 2 is ending with 1 so basically 9 power 4 will also end with 1 so even you can just remember cyclicity as 4 for as common for all the numbers What is the last digit of four sixty seven to the power one zero five? As discussed earlier, we just have to find out the unit digit of seven to the power one zero five. We know cyclicity of seven is four, so you have to represent in terms of four n. So basically, this number would be seven to the power four to the power. Four two is a eight. Four six is a twenty-four. This, this is ending with one. This is ending with seven. So our answer would be one into seven seven. Option number A. So we had space here. So let me write it properly here. Seven to the power four. To the power twenty-six into seven to the power one. This is ending with one. This is ending with seven. So our answer has to be seven. Next question: Find the unit digit of three to the power three to the power four. Now you very well know that cyclicity of three is four. So you will try. to represent your power in terms of 4 correct what is your power here your power is 3 power 4 which is 81 so let us divide by 4 you can write it as 4 into 20 plus 1 so basically your number becomes 3 to the power 4 into 20 plus 1 Three to the power four into twenty into three power one. This will end with one. This is ending with three. So our answer would be one into three three. So our answer is option number B. Simple. You are just trying to represent your power in terms of four. Find out unit digit of four twenty eight to the power four twenty eight minus three twenty four to the power three twenty four. So basically, we need to find out unit digit of eight to the power four twenty eight minus four to the power three hundred twenty four. Now this number cyclicity is four. 
so 8 to the power 4 this this number cyclicity is 2 so 1 6 2 this number the first number 8 to the power 4 107 minus 4 to the power 2 162 this will end with this will end with 6 minus this will end with 4 square ends with 6 only so 6 minus 6 will give you 0 our answer would be option B 0 next find out units digit of 7 to the power 11 to the power 17 to the power 13 now you very well know that cyclicity of 7 is 4 so what you have to do you have to represent your power which is 11 to the power 17 to the power 13 in terms of 4 how we how you will do it you will divide it by 4 but then it's a big number so you can't do a very easy calculation so basically what you will do 11 to the power 17 to the power 13 divided by 4 so basically this number is 11 to the power odd divided by 4 17 to the power 13 would be odd so you can write it as 12 minus 1 to the power odd divided by 4 a binomial theorem expansion if you remember so basically all the terms would have 12 except minus 1 to the power odd this will give you remainder as minus 1 because minus 1 to the power odd is always minus 1 so whenever you get a negative remainder you add it to your divisor to get your positive remainder so this is your remainder so basically what does this mean this means this number 11 to the power 17 to the power 13 is nothing but 4 n plus 3 so your number would become 7 to the power 4 n plus 3 this is your number 7 to the power 4 n into 7 to the power 3 first number will end with 1 second number will end with 3 343 so your answer would be 3 so what is your answer option number D fine find the units digit of 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square till 99 square now how we will do it so we will find out first the units digit of 1 square plus 2 square till 9 square how by calculation 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square till 9 square ending with 1 ending with 4 9 4 square 5 square 6 square 7 square 8 square 9 square so this will give you unit digit as 5 now so you get 1 square plus 2 square till 9 square unit digit 5 again you will have 10 square plus 11 square till 19 square 10 square 0 plus anything will always end with the same number so again 5 similarly 20 square 21 square till 29 square this will end with 5 it goes on till 90 square 91 square till 99 square 5 so basically 5 would appear 10 times so what would be your unit digit would be 0 here so your answer would be option number A. If you like my class, do hit the like button and subscribe.
click the bell icon to always receive the latest class on fingertips. Put your queries and doubts in the comment section. I'll revert. Reach out to me at my Facebook page, at my email, my Instagram. You can read my stories and my articles on my blog fireinthewings.wordpress.com. I'm also an educator on an academy. You can follow me there with the username Solvit Shubham. Stay tuned for further classes. In my next class, we will explore the concept of how to find out last two digits of the given number. Thank you. Do subscribe my channel and access my other courses on different topics like simple equations, special equations, ratio, proportion and variation, numbers basic, where I have discussed the concept of classification of numbers, LCM, HCF basics, divisibility rules and loads of questions from previous year CAD, ZAD, IFT etc. papers.